Hey, it's Pastor Joe here, and I am so glad to take just a few minutes with you today as we uh, look at our, our, our video e-blast for the week. It is Tuesday. It's probably a little bit after 10 maybe this morning. Uh, I was looking through some Bibles today and trying to find some, some notes that I'd written many years ago that had to come back to my mind. And I found one of my oldest Bibles that I have as far as uh, ministry Bibles is, is this, old, this old Bible here. It has taken a beat, and you, you can see even... We go back to some of these pages where the, the edges are literally worn off. I'm old, all right, and this Bible is old. This Bible uh, was pretty much my street preaching Bible in the early days of my ministry, and it, it took a real beating, uh, and so uh, it, it's worn out. But I did notice, I flipped open the Bible, and the, this fell out. This was some old notes that I'd pinned to myself, and I don't know. that You can see they're just scribbled all over uh, my handwriting. It's not uh, something that uh, my third grade teacher would be very proud of. Uh, but anyway, in Psalms 100 is where it fell, fell open to. And it was just a psalm of praise and a psalm of thanksgiving. Many of you, perhaps, if you walk with the Lord a long time, you know Psalms 100. And it is a great praise. Let me just read it to you. It says, Make a joyful noise unto the Lord, all ye lands. Serve the Lord with gladness. Come before his presence with singing. Know ye that the Lord, he is God. And it is he that hath made us, and not we ourselves. We are his people and the sheep of his pastures. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise and be thankful unto him and bless his name for the Lord is good. His mercy is everlasting and his truth endures to all generations. And uh, I wrote some notes outside the, the, the scribbles there. We just talked about several things of why we, why should we give thanks to the Lord? One, because he's the Lord. That's Period. That's it. We've been preaching a sermon series about in the last days and talking about one of the uh, some of the doctrine that filters into the church, uh, and it's 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 a it's an apostate kind of uh, teachings that focus on man and not upon God. And certainly that's where the culture is. It's all about us anymore. But this passage tells us we can give thanks to God, and we are not the focus of this. He is the focus of this, and we give Him thanks. It shows a spirit of gratitude. It, the, the, the attitude of the apostate, the false teacher, the false preacher, the false believer, they never are thankful for anything. In fact, they usually complain about most everything. But the true believer has learned that his father loves him and that he is good to all generations and that he is worthy of our thanksgiving. It talks about his power. God made us, not we ourselves. Go back to Romans 1. What's the sign of all that God turning people over there? It's that they start thinking that they're their own creators. Well, welcome to Darwinianism, that that particular uh, philosophy of the day and age, which has won the educational system. But it is a lie. God has made us. We are his people. We are the sheep of his pasture. We deserve uh, deserve really judgment, hell, and death. When he came, visit us with mercy and grace and life through the cross of Jesus Christ. Don't know what you're dealing with today. Don't know what you're, you're, you're facing to what the struggles will be. Uh, we all have different issues that were that are on our heart, our mind, things that tend to weigh us down, their burdens that we bear. Uh, let's always remember that the Lord is sovereign and that he's still God. It's he that made us, not we ourselves. It's he that will carry us through the situations that we're facing. It's he that will give us what we need when we trust him and we turn the situations over to him. But it, we, we find out that in Thanksgiving, it leads to really, as in one of the notes put down here, I talked about the power of God and the person of God and the pleasure that we derive. When our hearts are really focused on him, joy starts working in us. Pleasure starts coming forth. You, you, you see it in the context of, of the psalmist as he begins to praise the Lord and recognize the Lord and begins to realize that we are God's possession. All right, he, he made us and we are thankful unto him and we bless him. So do this today. Whatever's happening, whatever's going on with you today, let's move Jesus to the forefront. Let's begin to, well, the author uh, A.W. Pink put it this way, practice his presence, which basically means acknowledge him. And this is a psalm of acknowledgement. I pray that you would acknowledge the Lord today and everything you're dealing with and everything. Just bring God into the middle of it all and trust him and give thanks to him and sing praises in his name. See what God will do. I think the, the situation might not change, but your heart, your heart will change. So I encourage you today to take some time to, to, to bring everything into the Lord's presence, but enter into his gates and his courts with thanksgiving and singing.
Praise the Lord. You know, God's got a lot going on in our midst, a lot going on in the culture. There's a debate tonight, the presidential debate just going on. But let's always bathe everything that we're dealing with in our lives in the presence of God, in prayer, trusting Him to be God in our situation. I love you. I look forward to seeing you Sunday. We're continuing with our message on In the Last Days. It's part two. We're dealing with this part of this sermon series. It'll go about six weeks. This part of the sermon series is dealing with the prophecies concerning what will be happening in the church age in the last days. So God bless you. I look forward to seeing you this Sunday. Be there. God's bringing his people back together in person. If you're, if you're healthy and you know, you're not really in danger of, of, uh, because you don't have a bad immune system, come be a part of the service with us. God bless you. If not, tune in online. Jesus is Lord. Remember, we're here to love God, love people, reach the world.